Hello and welcome to today's video. So on the workbench today we have a couple vacuum fluorescent displays. Uh, I saw these on eBay. They were 15 bucks a piece. I can't pass that up. So I, I got a couple of them. Um, they're they're nice looking. They look like they're brand new. Like they're probably new old stock. Uh, this version is obsolete. This is not the B. The newer one is the, um, the GU256 128D 3900B. But uh, these are not the B version. Um, so they're a little bit older, but they're made by Noritake, and they seem to work fine. Um, well, this one's got an issue, but I'll show that to you in a second. But it's 256 by 128 pixels or dots uh, graphics display, and it does have the serial option. So it does, um, it does RS-232 and a parallel port. So, yeah, if you're going to do graphics, you're probably going to use a parallel port. If you're just doing text, serial is fast enough. Um, this other connector down here is general purpose IO, but um, yeah, they 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 look they look perfectly clean. They look nice. So I went ahead and uh, wired this guy up, and here I'll show you. Go ahead and turn it on, and uh, we'll write some text random stuff to it here. So you fill the whole screen up, and you can see the problem that we've got here. If you look at the ninth row down, and then the seventh or the eighth. Uh, was that column over the middle pixel is missing on this entire row so you can see it down here uh, on the characters that don't have a middle pixel you don't see it but um, actually you know what hold on we can do we can make it more visible by doing this whoa we're getting a weird strobing effect that actually doesn't look like that in real life that's my uh, camera there you go. Nope. I get the shutter speed to not to line up with the uh, refresh rate. But you can see the middle pixel of all those H's. I was, ah. Well, anyways, the middle pixel of all the H's is, is missing. So that's the problem with it. So it's like, well, maybe we can see if we can't fix that. But if you go back and look at this, there's no way to. Like, the, the display's multiplexed. Like there's no other connection to the actual VFD itself. It's just these pins here. These two, you can see the big fat traces going to them, are for the filament, which provides our, so it runs current through the, if I can get it to focus here. You can see the little filament lines going across. So it applies um, probably like two volts or so um, across those to generate a little bit of heat Typically, you don't even see them glowing, but they generate enough heat with free electrons that get attracted by the um, the grid below it to slam them into the uh, the phosphor to actually light up the pixels that you want. But uh, yeah, uh, no other data. Like all the data going in there is is coming through here, and that's it. Which means this has to be chip on glass. So in here, there has to be tons of little. Uh, the row drivers and the column drivers have to be probably over here or over here but yeah that they've got to have like a whole bunch of row drivers somewhere and column drivers but I mean it's chip on glass it's in there somewhere there's got to be some chips in there because yeah I don't know where they're at I can show you on an older much older uh, VFD that I've got uh, this one um, you can see it's a uh, it's a 256 by 64, so it's essentially half the resolution as this. It's like it's like this, you know, this stripe here because this is a 256 by 128, so it's just 256 by 64. So it'd be like a chunk like that for this display. Um, this one I was going to use for the bidirectional buck boost converter, but it's got I powered it up. It's got really bad burn in. I I forgot how bad it was, so hence the reason why. I, I was going to get a new one of these. Um, but anyways, uh, the driver chips. So we know it's got 64. There's two chips on here on the end, which are going to do the 64 um, rows. And we got 256 columns, so we got to drive all that. And these guys each do 32. So you got 128. So you got 32, 64, 96, 128, 128. So that's your 256. And then these two drivers, 32 each, do your 64. And you can see that on the VFD itself. We zoom in here. You can
can see there's 60, if you were to count all those, there's 64 lines coming up to here to do all of 64 rows. And then if we look at the, um, if we look at here, I don't know how else it's going to show up. Let's try going this way. You can, well, if we can get it to focus. Uh, every other, yeah, there you go. You can see that first pin is not connected to anything, and then that next pin is connected over here, and then the next one skips, and then that one's connected. Well, the ones that are skipping are connected to the other side, and that's how they get their, their 128 over here, 128 over here, to get the full 256. So it goes every other one, so it'd be this, that, that column, then the other column from the top, and then from the bottom, from the top, so it alternates back and forth with the 64 rows going that way. And yeah, but... So I was thinking, oh, you can fix that, but it's all chip on glass. It's internal to it. We can't go and fix anything. So anyways, I'll, I'm going to contact the eBay seller and see if they're willing to uh, uh, let me exchange this one. Um, see what happens. Uh, I don't expect much. They'll probably be like, no, you bought them as is. It's your luck. But yeah, I got one that works. This guy works perfectly fine. So all of the pixels on it, check out. Um, but this guy doesn't. So anyways, um, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.